Peace and love my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Lara B and today I'm going to talk to you about how to grow chamomile from chamomile tea. This is a project I started a couple of weeks ago and I didn't really have high hopes for it. I was a bit unsure. I looked up online um, ways to grow chamomile because I really wanted to grow some myself and I found this way and I just I was just a bit confused but I'm so surprised because it's honestly one of the easiest gardening projects you can do and it's so rewarding to see that you can grow a chamomile plant from a bag of chamomile tea. All you need for this project is a tea bag of chamomile tea, a bit of soil or potting mix and a container to grow your plants in. I didn't even use a normal pot, I used a little jar that my yogurt came in and I pierced some holes at the bottom so I'm going to show you in the video how to do that and that means you don't need to buy anything and you can find some soil on the ground or you can buy a bit of potting mix and you will have chamomile tea in a matter of weeks. There are also so many other ways you can use chamomile. You can use it in the kitchen to make sweets and desserts or you can use it as a beauty product. It's a really really soothing product that you can put on your skin or on your hair and it will also tone your hair so you might have like some brighter tones. I absolutely love chamomile tea. It is one of my favourite teas and I drink so much tea every day so having my own chamomile plants is such a money saver because I can just pick some flowers whenever I want and I can brew them and they are fresh and soothing and relaxing and they taste so sweet without needing to add any sweetener. So I'm just going to throw you back at Lara B from a couple of weeks ago and I'm going to show you how to start the project and then we're going to come back here and I'm going to show you how the chamomile is doing now. But before I show you, remember to like and subscribe. So all I did to prepare the pot is I took a yogurt container uh, but you can use anything you have in the house and I just pierced some holes at the bottom and made them wide enough so that the water could drain through and then I just went and filled it up with some potting mix you can use soil or compost whatever you have really so for this project now I'm going to use just a tea bag of chamomile tea you can also use flowers, in fact flowers are better, but this is just easy and something most of us will have in the house. And the w reason this works is because what we are using to produce chamomile tea is actually the flower of the chamomile plant and this is full of seeds. So once you put it in soil, hopefully we will have some chamomile growing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open the tea bag. And then I am going to sprinkle the chamomile tea on top of my soil. There we have it. So now we can just pat it in as usual. And then we're going to water it. Two days later. And there you have it. So what's really cool is that the tea bag is actually compostable. So you can either put it in your worm bin or in your compost heap if you have a garden that allows for the space. And it's so lovely that from just a tea bag you can grow plants. For me it's just one of the most astonishing things ever and I would have never imagined that I could do this until I tried and I think it's just so empowering to show that you don't need to buy seeds and you don't need to buy pots in order to be able to do some gardening. And I feel like this is a project you can even do in your uni house if you're a student or in your small apartment because it doesn't take 
anything. Now just remember, you need to put a plate underneath your pot, otherwise the water will just drip through and it will be muddy everywhere and you don't want that. So just make sure you put a plate or an old piece of plastic or even the lid of the container. Two weeks later. So a couple of weeks have passed now and we have chamomile. Let me show you. The chamomile has flowered and you can see there are more coming and this all grew in my little yogurt pot from a tea bag. So that was the project and it's a really really easy thing that you can do in your house, in your bedroom, in your garden if you have one but also in your uni, in your dorm room, wherever. In fact I now have a garden but um, when I'm at university I don't have a garden and so I have to kind of make do with what I have to try and create my little vegetable patch. And what I did this year was with my boyfriend, we started growing some um, herbs and a few other things. We grew some radishes, we grew some pak choy, and they were really, really easy things to grow, but also really rewarding. And they just made us self-sufficient in herbs and herbs are such a good thing to grow at home because they add a ton of flavor they save you a lot of money and they're so easy to grow and they're also kind of a novelty uh, people came around and they were like oh my goodness you have herbs or at parties they were really excited to see them um, we also grow aloes from pups um, and if you want i can make a video on how to grow aloes from pups and so this just shows you that you can do these really simple projects and it just gives you joy and kind of an outlet as well um, if you have some stress from life, some stress from uni um, and it just adds to the quality of your life. Also right now we are all kind of in the house or even if some areas are starting to reopen a little bit we're still very restricted so it's really good to have something to take care of in your own house that you can really, really love and cherish and see progress in. I think seeing progress is one of the best things about gardening and it's something that really, really makes you motivated to grow more because when you plant a seed and there's nothing and then you wake up the next morning and you see it sprouting or you wake up the next morning and there's a flower and you didn't expect it, it's the most rewarding feeling and you really, really see this gain that really brings a lot of joy to your daily lives. And this is a kind of um, reward that I also find a lot in powerlifting, which is something else that I do. And um, I know it might be like surprising if some of you don't know me, but um, I started going to the gym just over a year ago and I just got hooked. I loved it and I didn't really know what I was doing at first. I kind of did one set of 10 reps on all the machines in the weights room and I didn't even dare to go in the separate section of the gym that was the section where the barbells and the like lifting was. Um, but then in February last year, I joined Warwick Barbell, which is the barbell club at the University of Warwick and I fell in love with powerlifting. I just think that it's such an empowering thing and just to see yourself progress week to week and become stronger and fitter and able to lift things that you would not have imagined to be able to do is such a rewarding thing. Um, so after this quarantine period uh, where I only trained at home, I tried to do like home workouts. Um, but I got so, so tired of them because I just love the environment where you're with friends and you can like lift heavy weights um, and you can really, really focus on becoming stronger. Uh, I kind of felt like I was a bit demotivated and it was really, really hard to bring myself to train at home, even though I love the feeling during and after, just the feeling of getting up off my chair was really, really tiring mentally. Um, so I'm so glad that now I'm able to go to the gym again and I was I was really scared that I would have lost so much strength but actually I went to the gym and on the first day I got a bench personal record um, and I hadn't got this at two meets that I'd done. It, I'd, it was always my third attempt and I always failed 
but I just got it like that after after what three months of training in the gym and this is obviously because I did a lot of push-ups and other stuff like that um, so I, I'm so glad that I kept on going and I kept training uh, because I didn't lose that much strength strength and and I was able to actually become stronger in some ways so yeah that's just like another side of me that I don't know maybe you're interested also let me know if you're interested in seeing more of that because I can this is like lifting is such a big part of my life um, but I was just thinking that this was a channel for gardening and maybe you want to see more of gardening so let me know in the comments below whether you're more interested in the gardening side of things or whether you would like to see more of my life with uni and friends and um, powerlifting as well if you've seen my video from last week, which I will link, um, you will know that my garden really, really suffered from a hailstorm that hit the north of Italy and really, really destroyed a lot of my plants. I was really, really sad and I am still extremely concerned of the weather and the changing in the climate that we are experiencing with um, some heavy rain, some heavy storms uh, and just very very changeable weather which is not to be expected in Italy in this time of year but I also made a point in that video that plants can pick themselves up really really quickly and my garden has recovered so quickly and I just want to show you how my plants are doing because it's incredible and I am myself astonished at the pace of the recovery of so many plants and some are doing better than others, I must say, like the courgettes and the pumpkins. Oh my goodness! Pumpkin flowers! ...are doing way, way better. Uh, and the salad greens, so the, the chard and the lettuce, are weakened significantly. But they have still grown back. And I'm hoping that with some more love and some more care, they will be able to withstand um, further storms, if they might happen and also to deliver some produce soon. Courgette plant is just thriving. Oh my goodness, look at how big the leaves are. They're massive and the flowers, so many of them. And we have courgettes. This is incredible. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe and also press the notification bell so you'll get alerted every time I post a new video which will be every Thursdays at 12 uh, p.m. European time or 11 a.m. BST. Also let me know in the comments below what you would like to see from new videos and if you want to see more of my life or if you want to see more of my gardening um, just let me know in the comments below and also any thoughts you have on this project or on other projects. Also I love to see what you guys are up to in the garden so if you have any pictures, any progress pictures or new projects you've started, if you're starting this camera project, which by the way you must do, you have no excuse because it's insanely easy, like insanely easy and it's really fun and it's so rewarding as I said. Um, so just send me any pictures, any videos you have to my Instagram, which I will post down below and I will make an effort to repost everything and I'll also reply to all your comments. So yeah, make sure you get in touch. And last but not least, go check out my TikTok page. So what's your favourite food? Vegetables. I've been like playing around with that and that's also linked below. Anyway, that was all from me. I'm Laura B. Peace and love.